Hello there, comrades. Welcome back. Now, I'm sure we all know who, uh, who Peter is. And now, I'm not talking about the famed and talented artist, Peter Griffin. No, no, no. I'm talking about the famed and retarded organisation, which is known as Peter. If you don't know who these guys are, basically, Peter is a group of people who will uh, attack you and just brutally murder you on the street if you even look at a goddamn animal, okay? And yeah, the reason I'm talking about them again today is because, surprise, surprise, they're doing some dumbass shit again. Now look, I'll give Peter props for, you know, not being as retarded as the last time I spoke about them, all right? If you remember last time I spoke about these guys, um, they were protesting in a video game because there were virtual fish being kept in virtual tanks. That's right. But yeah, this time, it's still retarded, just not as retarded as the last time, alright? Now, I'm praying for Peter to come close to being as retarded as they were back then, but I don't think it's gonna happen, alright? It's like trying to take a nice shit after you've had a curry, alright? It's just, it's not gonna happen. But yeah, this time, Peter is attacking James Charles um, for buying a new pet dog. Now, we all know who James Charles is. You know, he's the sexy one from the makeup community on YouTube. Wait. Oh, fuck. Well... I guess I've got to cancel my trip to Southern America now. Well, anyway, look, Peter made this video on James Charles uh, talking about how he's, you know, he's a sinner, how disgusting he is for buying a dog. Just take a look at it. I feel like it's honestly a good time mm -hmm. to bring the dog to the family. The funniest thing I found from this clip was the fact that Peter is trying so hard to make James feel like he's he's a, he's a fucking disgusting human being or he's like a murderer or something. He's literally so happy to go and get a dog, all right? And Peter's come in, put the sad music on and gone like, look at this selfish prick having the audacity to go and buy a dog. How dare he? Like, I know Peter pushes the narrative that like buying a dog from a breeder is an awful thing because they don't look after their dogs properly. If that's the case, then isn't it a good thing that James is taking this dog out of this horrible life and giving him a better home, all right? But you know, Peter just really wants to nitpick and suck the joy out of everyone's life. Oh my God, he took pictures with his dog. How dare he? First he buys the dog, then he takes pictures with the dogs? Nah, this is going too far. I mean, seriously, I really don't see the problem with, with taking pictures with your dog and just sharing it with people, all right? I mean, he was gonna tell people anyway. I mean, his job is literally just to film his life. And it's not like he's taking the dog out from under the staircase where he has like, the dog has like a disgusting home. And every time he puts the cameras on, it makes himself look like he's really nice to the dog. But when he turns it off, he beats the dog. You know, I'm sure he's probably not doing that. At least I hope he's not. But you know, Peter, on the other hand, exploits animals all the time. I mean, they just share a bunch of videos of animals getting tortured, which, you know, is evidently worse. So, you know, Peter, this is a little bit hypocritical. It's kind of weird because, you know, I hate seeing shit like this, you know, when they say, oh yeah, celebrities and rich people, they have to give money to charity just because they have more money than most people, you know, they have to give money to people less fortunate. It's a nice thing to do, but they don't have to do it. I mean, what was James Charles supposed to do in this situation? Taking all 70 million dogs in shelters, all right? I don't know about you but I think that would be pretty hard to do. Obviously, I'd be able to do it because, you know, I'm big epic Chad. But, you know, James Charles, who's not so much a Chad. And hey, look, even if you're rich, it's never a bad thing to spend money on yourself. I mean, you aren't that fucking money. It's your money. No one can go and tell you what to fucking do with it. If you decide to give it to charity, fair enough. No one's going to stop you. If you decide to buy like a big warship on the ocean, fair enough. No one's going to fucking stop you. So I hate seeing when people start complaining to celebrities saying that they have to give to charity. It just fucking, it pisses me off. We're not fucking communists, are we? Now, obviously, after this video, uh, the, the sister squad or whatever they're called, uh, started uh, uh, going after Peter for attacking their, their messiah, of course. And uh, Peter got a bit on the defensive, saying that, oh, yeah, the only people who criticise Peter 
are people who eat meat, which, you know, I agree with. All the vegans and vegetarians don't have enough strength to pick up a cell phone. So yeah, I've enjoyed today's video because we've been able to shit on Peter, which of course I love because I have an intense shit fetish. Okay, right, this is kind of getting a little bit weird now. And through looking into Peter, I found a new villain that I thought I should face. That's right, vegan teacher, the internet's newest psychopath. Don't worry, I'll be making a video on her soon. But yeah, thanks for coming along. Hope you have a nice steak tonight. And yeah, I'll see you later. Farewell. You're a stupid fucking cunt. Go ahead and run your mouth, pussy. I don't give a fuck. You're a stupid piece of shit. You're a stupid fucking bitch. Get the fuck up off my dick. Get the fuck up off my dick. Like, please, end your fucking life. Please, end your fucking life. I really gotta emphasize. No one cares if you're alive. You